Alright, hello everybody, I'm back. My name is Ben Coates, and we're starting on Lesson 3, which is Strings and Characters. All the characters of the EC on your screen, which is letters, numbers, or symbols, uh, have a number equivalent. Uh, for example, the letter A, uh, note the capital on it, uh, has a number equivalent of 65. These numbers are known as ASCII codes. Only this is, these numbers are only true in the ASCII character set, which is the one that is most commonly used. Um, you can find Unicode, but yeah, let's that's, that's not get into that. They're a bit of a pain to work with. Uh, you, you can view all the ASCII characters by either going to an ASCII character map. A good one is ASCII.cl, which is one on the web. Or you can go into where you extracted all of your executables and double click in Windows 32, not DOSBox. Uh, and double click on charlist.exe. This application will show you all the ASCII co uh, characters and their code equivalents. Okay, so you can see that in here. Uh, charlist, here we go, this is it here. Just double click on that or whatever. And as you can see, you've got number one, which is your nu uh, zero, which is your null, one. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all of them, I'm going to note out the important ones though. Uh, what's important here? Not too much. Okay. Oh, 10 line feed. Uh, yep. And 13, I think that's, it's, it's, it's another one to do with, basically 10 and 13 together is a new line, uh, across all operating systems. Then you've got, yeah, so basically you can just hit enter and you can see. 48 non, uh, up to 57 I think is, uh, our numbers. Up to 57, yep. Then you've got 65, which is your capital alphabet, up to 90. And then at 97, you start with your lowercase alphabet. And basically, you know, you can just keep scrolling through these and you can see all the different, uh, yeah, all the different characters you can use in your DOS programs. It goes up to 512, so there's a fair few to choose from. Okay. Okay, each character, regardless of which whichever character it is, has a size of one byte, which is eight bits. Therefore, a string consisting of hello world would have a size of 12 bytes. So, let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go, 12 bytes. 12 characters, 12 bytes, that includes the the um, space there which is has an ASCII code of 32. That concludes this short lesson on ASCII character codes. The next lesson is going to be on memory.